channel my name is Liz if you are new here so today I'm doing a full grocery haul and a meal prep video so I will be going through everything I'm about to leave now I've just done a meal plan of everything that I am planning for like dinners meal prep and all of that stuff this week so I'm gonna go to Aldi and then go to Sainsbury's to get the bits that I can't get from Aldi so that is what I've been doing lately to just make sure I get everything so I'm currently eating in a calorie deficit to lose weight my goal at the moment is to lose a stone if I want to lose more when I get there we'll see but at the moment one stone I'm going to keep you updated on other videos um, and weight losses and things like that so if you was wondering I'm prioritizing protein and fibre so my daily calories are 1900 a day my protein goal is 120 grams a day and fibre is 30 grams a day so if you was wondering that is just what I'm aiming for so let's go shopping shopping done I've had to change my top because I'm so hot now so I'm gonna go through everything so total everything to get out was 80 pound that's for obviously breakfast meal preps dinners for the week for me my husband and my daughter I'm also gonna pop here on screen the meals that I've got planned I always write down the meals and then like the ingredients that I need or if I feel like I haven't got them ingredients I'll write down the ingredients so this is what I've planned for the week nine times out of ten I do usually stick to it sometimes like I'll just switch a meal up but that is the plan for this week and also the meal prep I'll be going through after this so let's get into everything I got so starting off with all of the veg I got pak choy peppers mushrooms I'm always just lazy and I get this sometimes I buy all the salad and chop it up myself but I've just got one of these just to have on like side salad sandwiches or anything then I got these broccoli so these are the organic broccoli I need it for the meal prep and there was no broccoli so I had to just get these ones lemons I always use lemons to season my avocado with cucumber munch two avocado they didn't have the packs of two so I'll end up going back to the shop to get more got grapes and strawberries for some fruit and some onions I do have red onions so I just got these normal onions so that is all the veg items moving on to like the carbs the breads that I got so this bread is for steam is I don't really have this bread um crumpets I'm loving crumpets lately I'm planning the fajita so I've got these mini wraps for fajitas I've got no rice left so I needed some rice I've got these brioche buns for burgers this week um, these are the egg noodles that we like so I've got a pack of these for my slow cooker recipe I actually wanted the wholemeal bagels there was no wholemeal bagels in Aldi or Sainsbury's so I got these ones um, because the calories were decent the protein and fibre was decent on these so poppy seed bagels I think they're a sourdough bagel so that is going to do for this week moving on to frozen I don't really get much frozen but I always like to have frozen veg and I've just run out of these so I just got the mixed vegetables and the peas and then this is mainly for my daughter or if I'm just being really lazy I might have some oven chips so this is just the freezer items moving on to protein so I've got these mini fillet tenders for my burgers which is like a fake away meal that I like to do which I'm planning for this week I've got this large pack of chicken fillets they're skinless and boneless which is perfect and I got the large pack because there's quite a few meals I think most of my meals have chicken this week and then like I said loads of chicken this week and I just picked up these chicken drum fillets because I didn't really need two of them I thought that would be enough as I'm planning a sausage and mash this week and we have sausages for breakfast I've got two packs of these sausages and mash they are 76 calories each and honestly really nice also i've been loving turkey sausages so i've got these from sainsbury's they're higher in protein they're similar calories but higher in protein so i thought why not have these because honestly they're just as tasty in my opinion we always get smoked bacon these pork sausages are for my daughter i don't really eat these but this is just what i got and ham we always snack on ham i'll either have ham in a sandwich or i'll just snack on it so i always get like a big pack of ham and then i've got six eggs i already had a few eggs so i just got six and then tuna chunks just got two of these because i've done some tuna like loaded tuna bagels the other day and they were really really nice so i thought i'll just get two of these 
So this is all the proteins and meats this week. Also, I seen this uh, last week and I was like, I need to try it. So the whole pizza is 439 calories and ham, mushroom, garlic and spinach just sounds really, really good. Um, protein, what is it for protein? 23 grams of protein, but you could probably top it with like extra chicken if you wanted to, but I thought just in case I fancied it, I'll put it in the freezer and that could be an option. Um, I just got some more foil, some baking potatoes. I always make either fresh mash or fresh chips. I'll probably get through the like, majority of these potatoes this week. And for milk, so Steve and Bella will have this semi-skim milk, but I've been having oat milk for ages. And this oat milk is the only one that I found with the least ingredients. It's water, oats, and sea salt. So I just been having oat milk lately, so that is mine. Some tinned stuff. Some of the ingredients I've already got in tinned stuff, but I needed some more beans. So baked beans, I've got this halloumi, Cypriot halloumi. I don't know if it's like proper halloumi. Oh, I thought this was the lighter version. It doesn't matter. So anyway, I'm using this in the meal prep. So I've got this halloumi, low fat cottage cheese. I'm loving cottage cheese. I always did. But if you just want something quick and easy, I really like it in a jacket potato with some added chives. So I got that, got some Greek yogurt. So I like to have yogurt bowls or you know if you want to add yogurt into your like tuna to make it more creamy instead of mayo so I, this is my favorite greek yogurt i've got reduced fat soft cheese because i just haven't got any i've only got normal cheese i've got no soft cheese and then the lighter creme fraiche which i get most weeks to be honest if you want to make a pasta nice and creamy then use this two tablespoons is 49 calories and to be honest you don't really need any more than that and it's just a go-to for me. Last thing is all of the good stuff. So these noodles and them noodles are for my daughter. Um, these snacks are for me. For 17 grams of protein, 164 calories. I've always loved these, so I've got them. The five banana bars, I love these with like low calorie salted caramel ice cream or maybe in a yogurt bowl. Obviously they're high in fiber, which is good. And for 77 calories, I really like these. And I got these last week and they were so nice. I like strawberries, blueberries, like a caramel sauce on these. It's a really nice like treat. And then I got some chocolate chip cookies. Probably won't really have many of these, but it's an option if I do fancy them. And I was like, let's treat myself to something nice. You know what, the calories are actually not bad on these. I had a look and they are 339 calories per one. And I like that it's already in the little portion, so I'm not gonna overeat. I know exactly what the calories are, and salted caramel is definitely my favorite. And another favorite snack of mine are these takeaway bars, which are 134 calories. So these are my little treat section this week. Also, things that I've already got, I like these uh, fiber now. I've got the chocolate one and the raspberry one. That was everything for this haul, so I'm gonna put it all away. Then we're gonna get into meal prepping. So the first thing I am cooking for meal prep this week, this is gonna make four portions. It's a creamy pasta with chicken, broccoli, halloumi, onions, peppers, and to make it creamy, you just add a bit of pasta water and two tablespoons of this lighter than light creme fraiche. So everything's all weighed out. I'll put it in the description, all the measurements for every ingredient. So for this meal, it's gonna be 558 calories and it's 41 grams of protein, which is perfect. So seasonings, I'm using salt, pepper, one cow fry light, and I'm just using these seasonings. You don't have to use the cajun, but I just think that'll go nice with this. Just keeping it really simple. I actually made it last week and it was absolutely delicious. So we're gonna get started now.
the next meal prep I'm doing is a Chinese Mayflower chicken curry. I've just got this Mayflower medium curry sauce mix, but I'm sure they do a hot one as well. I've only got two servings here. So once again, I'll put all the amounts in the description. For this portion, it's 311 calories and 28.8 grams of protein, but I am gonna be adding rice to this, but you could have it with rice or chips. So I've got chicken, peas, the Mayflower curry sauce mix, one onion, I like to do big chunky onions, and I like to leave these whole or really chunky as well. And for seasoning, the usual fry light, salt, pepper. So I've got a Chinese five spice, onion, salt, garlic, and some of this to give it a little bit more spice, but you could just add anything that you want really if you want to add more like chili flakes or anything like that add it in so honestly this is definitely a quick and easy go-to recipe so let's get started 